hey guys welcome to coding simplified again and today we'll see that how to get the set of intersection into linked list so intersection means that you have two linked list and you need to uh, get the common element in both the linked list right so if you are watching this video then we can assume that you already know about what is linked list and how to insert an element in linked list but still if you want then you can see my previous videos where i have clearly uh, instructed how to insert the and how you can create the linked list so let's say these are the two linked list we have in first linked list we have the elements 37 8 13 and 18 and our head is 37 right and in second linked list we have 18 14 and 8 now how many elements are common in two linked list so we have 8 and we have 18 right so we want to get the these two elements right and again there may be a question that we want to get the element in arranging order or in sorted order right so what we do we will write a function get intersection right this is intersection and we will pass the uh, the head node of the both linked list so let's put a debug point here and let's see that what we are doing in the function so these are the two linked list because we are printing the both linked list so this is first this is second right so go in the function so first we are uh, first we are sorting the both linked list because when you do sort then it's very effective and it's very and it has very least complexity so that is why we first sort the both linked list and after sorting we get the common element so uh, again if you want to see the how how you can sort the linked list then you can see my one of the previous videos i think uh, three videos before i have done this like how to sort a linked list so you can go there and you can see uh, clearly how you can sort the linked list so i won't do it again so if you sort both the linked list then you can see that what is a has become because earlier it was 37 8 13 and 18 right and now this should become 8 13 18 and 37 right this is my first linked list and if you see my second linked list then this should be 8 14 8 14 and 18 right now go to the function merge with intersection okay so now what should be my logic so what i will do here that i will uh, i will keep on checking the both the linked list and as soon as i find that these two elements are common in both the linked list i will store them in a temporary linked list right and then i will and at the same time i will traverse both the linked list right so this is how i will solve the problem because at a one time either one item will be lower than the other one so whichever item is lower i will uh, i will put the link of this to next one i will jump it to next one okay and i will keep the other one as static so that i can check that whether the other elements uh, which is coming next is common or not right so like in this case i am taking a temporary node so this is a temporary node again i am uh, this is a temporary node which i will be using at the last so now i am checking till both the linked list are null that if ai is less than bi then simply just jump the lower one because we are will not store right storing is not because that won't solve a problem now again if bi is less than ai then again jump from b to b next and because earlier because now if you see here a was 8 and b was 8 so that is why it has gone into the else right so this is our this is our requirement so we will put temp dot next equals to a and we'll again uh, traverse temp equals to temp dot next and we'll also jump a and b right because so temp so temp will be our final link list right this will be our link list so whenever we find our element we will link the element and then we traverse right so actually we are using one of the linked list we are not creating a complete new linked list because that will because that will put another burden of memory so we are using already linked list we have and we are just keeping the links right so temp is temp is using for linking 
सो नाउ वॉट ए नेक्स्ट सो ए इज थर्टीन एंड बी इज फोर्टीन ओके सो इन दिस केस ए इज लोअर सो ए विल गो इन दिस एंड ए विल जस्ट जम्प ओके नाउ वॉट इज बी इज फोर्टीन एंड ए इज एटीन सो नाउ बी इज लोअर सो बी विल जम्प एंड नाउ वॉट सो नाउ ए इज एटीन एंड बी इज ऑल्सो एटीन बोथ आर एटीन सो नाउ इट विल गो इन एल्स इट विल गो हेयर इट विल पुट द वैल्यू एंड बोथ विल ट्रेवल्स टू द नेक्स्ट पोजिशन एंड नाउ b is null so it will go out of the loop and it will put temp dot next because now now there can't be element which will be common and finally return the final list why return the final list not null because if you see here this is our because this was the temporary node and this is a first node this is a second node okay which we have stored so if we just uh, return the final list dot next that will be our solution so return this return this and if you print the list then you can see that it is printing 8 and 18 right so this is how we can get the intersection set of both the linked list and this is how we can solve the problem in java code so thanks friends for watching the video and please subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you